Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello again. My name is Saffron Hurry and I'm a 19 year old content creator on this little side of YouTube. And for today's video, I want to touch on skincare yet again to basically revamp the travesty that was my skincare from three years ago and to also give a very, as I could put it, a thorough guide on dry skin. So I'm sorry to all the other skin types. I don't want to say screw you, but I just want to say that it will be in my right mind to do dry skin because I have dry skin myself. But don't feel shy, share this with a friend, with a relative, with whoever you feel needs this guy. However, do not take my words to heart. I am not a dermatologist, I am not someone who specializes in skin, I'm basically someone who has dry skin and wants to give you guys this guy. And without any further ado, let's get to it. First and foremost, we need to define dry skin. Dry skin is one out of four skin types that's identified by dermatologists and is caused by a lack of natural moisturizing factors. These factors include amino acids, lactic acids, and a sticky substance called sebum, which is just your glands producing that substance that I mentioned. Dry skin is lacking all of these, and there's even more factors into that, but those are just the main three. Now some of the main causes, there's age, obviously, genetics, but diet can play a factor into it, the weather can play a factor to it, and also your overall hygiene could play a factor in that as well. Now with all this in mind, obviously this is a skin type that you need to be very gentle with and cautious with, otherwise it could get extreme and you could get psoriasis and all this other stuff, so obviously you want to keep it nice, moisturized, and healthy. And you can do this by, first of all, avoiding all alcohol products. Alcohol, strips, and we want to keep as much oil as we can on our face. Avoid using hot water. That's for washing your face and even taking showers. Just use warm water or cold water. Over exfoliating could take a big toll. You don't want to do that. And please, for the love of God, do not rub your face with the dang washcloth or paper towel. You want to pat dry. Not only will it prevent you from just being rough and hard on this already dry skin, this very delicate layer that your skin has, but it also preserves as much moisture in your skin. So that way you can go right into your skincare routine. And that's what we're gonna do. First and foremost, wet that face, baby. Get as much water on there as possible so that way that the cleanser can glide on. And I'm using the CeraVe, but sometimes if I see I have a lot of imperfections, I'll then go on with the scrub and I use either a Vano or this clear blue deep action. But for today, I don't have to use any of those so I could skip right onto the toner and today we're using Thayer's. And this is a really good toner, guys. All you really need is a few drops and one or two cotton rounds. Today I used two so that way I can get rid of all the dirt and grime that I knew that I had on my skin. That way I can follow it up with my serum and later on my moisturizer to where we can have this nice, smooth, glazed donut perfection. You guys see that? It looks so perfect. But my lips aren't so we have to go on with the scrub and later on, a balm. And there you have it, a dry skin guide for the dry skin peeps. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!